All right, welcome back to round two. Uh, so this is the re-unboxing. I uh, came into a better room trying to get some more light on this uh, for the uh, X45 uh, heli version. So get to that so I keep this video smaller than the other one. So like we said, here's the box. It is much larger. You know, the X45 box was about half of this, and this will your your turbo prop uh, version and your heli version will come into this this box as well. So you can kind of see uh, here's an X45, the size of that, and open it up. Like I mentioned already, you get some stickers. Always good to have stickers. Accessory pack. So you got your field tubing, all your uh, lead servo leads for the um, ECU or your throttle, uh, probably for the governor setting, things like that. It's like your typical hub to motor cable and your hub to battery cables in there as well, plus your filter. Take this off. You can already see. It's beautiful. Bling bling. <laughs> uh, smart data terminal. Uh, this is kind of the uh, nice, nice feature. These little guys they allow for playback if you leave them plugged in. Plus, you can put an SD card in there and do some uh, uh, playback. That, or I believe it's more playback, but you get some more features. Do that. Uh, here's your hub. This is the, the light version. So, light version. I mentioned this before. You get the the hub. And if you remember, I've had people ask, you know, on, on the hubs on the X45, they had these two, two ports. One was for pump, but there was another one that wasn't labeled. Well, I believe it gets used on, if it's not this one, it's the turbo prop, but it allowed for expansions. So uh, I don't think it worked. I don't think that extra port does anything other than both they, they both run your pump on the heli. But I think on the turbo prop version, there may be an extra plug there. But... GCU throttle and this side plugs to your motor and then this side right here is your battery. Uh, there's your pump. Same pump as the X45 turbine version or the, the, the regular version. Same motor. Essentially it's the same motor here uh, minus the exhaust comb and then you got the extra, I believe that's a lubrication. Don't quote me on that. It's the first time I've dealt with these. First time I have seen these as well. So let's get this guy out. Get him out of the box here. Definitely, I'm gonna set it down just a second to get it out of the foam. Definitely a little bit more weight. That is a beefy box. So I'm gonna set that there. And kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with here. So there you go. 90 degrees, typical uh, a shaft with threaded shaft with your nut and everything for a 90 size design to bolt into a 90 size 90 degree angle in place of a nitro motor. I believe that's your governor. So there you go. Just kind of looking at it, that's nice. Yeah, so far everything seems to be a little bit of a design change here. Um, all the all the motors past a certain number started coming with the, the Ford Ford version. Just kind of don't want to get fingerprints all over here. So flip it over. Shiny. All right, so let's get to some, wrap this up, because I gotta get this put back in the box and get these shent sent out. Customers were pretty, were very, were real patient with these. I wish all patient, our customers were as patient. Uh, not the norm on these uh, taking this long. Generally, the X45s before the chaos of all the the pre-releases and the and the post-release and the holidays, I was getting. Getting X45s in about every uh, two weeks was quick, three weeks was the norm. Very rarely did it go over three weeks. 
Uh, these are supposed to have about a month lead time on them, uh, just because of the you know the extra items that have to be machined and fabricated, assembled, kind of a thing. And the turbo props the same way. I would I was I would expect the 90 and the 120 to be similar to the X45, you know, two to three week kind of lead time, but that's all dependent upon you know how 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 backed up they are. Uh, you know, once they get through all the pre-orders and kind of get caught up, I would expect it to be, you know, like clock, clockwork with the, like the X45 is, so. But let's get on uh, with the, the fun stuff. So an X45 weighs just under a pound, so point, just round that up to 0.9, so 0.9 of a pound, so there you go. And then you throw in a data terminal, a hub, pump and these are the same exact I'll scoot that over same exact stuff that comes with the 45 so so 45 the uh, the, the fixed wing version you're looking at just say 1.2 pounds ready to go all right so that's for you for your jet guys and then this guy Throw that on there. Okay, so you're looking at 0.9 of a pound for the, the motor to 2.5 pounds, so 2.6 pounds for this guy. So uh, I wish I had a 90, 90 size motor and pipe to put in here. Uh, to kind of compare it to because you really can't relate the two, you know But two points to say 2.6 pounds for the heli guys so you throw You don't need the, the if, unless you get the standard version the standard version has the Data stuff built into it. So it's a little bit heavier, but so with the hub the pump and Get that on there the packaging so this is essentially what you're having on the motor unless you decide to mount this you're looking at 2.8 pounds and then throw in your UAT if you do that so just say just say two two point nine three pounds is what you're putting in the heli so there you go pretty cool stuff so Based on the mounting apparatus that they have for the turboprop version, I would expect it to be a little bit heavier just because of the extra uh, mounting system that it has with it and maybe a little bit heavier uh, gearbox slash prop, prop drivetrain. But uh, I would, it's probably pretty close. So, but I mean, you think about this. Look how size, look how small that is. Um, right now, they have a, a, a Trek 700 V1 conversion kit, which is just a four it bolts right in with with a kind of a support bracket on the front. And I forget the, I think it may be a Mikado that they have one for. But I expect that they will come out with more conversions. They've kind of, if I'm not mistaken, they've partnered with a company that makes turbine conversions for heli. So uh, give it some time. Uh, I think they will come out with more turbine conversions for kind of your popular, popular models. So there you go. I have these, like I said, these are the first three that I've gotten in the U.S. for the heli. And once I get the turbo prop, the 90 and the 120, I'll, I'll do the same for each one of those and try to keep it uh, a little bit more streamlined and get some better lighting next time. But uh, it's an awesome product. The uh, X45s have been really awesome. I've sold quite a few of these. And I fly mine. I fly it more than anything. I've got eight plus hours on it. I've got one uh, here that's got 11 hours on it. So they're really good little motors. So I'm hoping, hope the uh, heli guys enjoy this because, like I said, they've been really sucking uh, using some older technology. Uh, so hopefully this will 
um, be the be the boost that the the scale scale guys need to get some more get helis going again because helis have kind of died out a little bit but uh, maybe someday I can get a turbine Apache done that'd be awesome but anyways I'm just running on so uh, if you need one give me a shout um, I have a huge pre-order going in should have went in this morning but I held off and I will send it in tonight. So I got a huge pre-order going of the turbo props, the 90s and the 120s. Uh, I'm getting some 120s for myself because I have a project that they're perfect for. So I'll get to kind of try those out. I, I will not be able to try the heli out. Uh, I've been running the X45 jet version for a year now, over a year. Runs great. So I would expect these to do the same. But anyways, you guys have a good Good Christmas, and like I said, if you are interested, go to www.fb-rc.com. That's the new website, and like I said, there's a forum there if you want to join. Great, um, I'd like to hopefully grow it into something that's uh, good for the hobby, for where people can go and get information and share their share knowledge. That's what it's for, not the drama that you're seeing on all the other forums. You know, they pretty much are ruined these days. So. Uh, you guys have a good Christmas, and if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I will get you one. Till next time, you have a good one.